Hey, what's going on, good people? Welcome to Rust Can't Fly. It's time to go back to Doylestown so we can see that awesome runway. Let's go. All right, so I'm getting ready to get back on to uh, on the horse here and um, gonna get back out of here. This has been a pretty airport to fly into. There's actually a grass strip here at Schuylkill County. Um, of course, again, I'm not allowed to land here. I'm not exactly sure where it is, um, but I wasn't gonna mess with it. But we're here at 2-9 and um, I'm getting ready to take off and head on back. The thing that's crazy about these flights when I go to these airports that I've never been to is there's always this sense of accomplishment. And a lot of people may say, well, it's no big deal. You just flew an airplane, you just landed somewhere. But, you know, can you imagine just, you know, getting in your car, closing your eyes, and like just showing up at some like hotel that you've never heard of? That's what this is like. It's to me, it's an amazing thing. All right, so put in good old Doylestown here. All right, so we are going back to Doylestown. We're at runway 29. Uh, so I don't, so let me make sure everything is good. So flaps are up, mixture's full rich, carb heat is cold, trim is set for takeoff, fuel tanks are on, and everything is good. Let's turn on our taxi landing light. I don't see anybody on the field. I don't hear anybody on final here. So we are ready to go. Google County traffic, Cessna 904006 will be departing runway 29 out to the east, Schuylkill County, Zerbies. All right, so let's taxi on up here. Let it do what it do. And as you look, when I'm pulling up here, you will see that this runway goes uphill. Going this way. Yeah, I didn't notice the slope when I was coming in, but definitely as I was pulling up to line up to go back out, I definitely saw it a lot more. It was kind of crazy, as you can see. All right, so I see 2-9. Two nine. Two nine. All right, we're good. Hills to the floor, full power. All right, engine instruments to the green, suction, oil temp, oil pressure, all look good. Airspeed is coming alive. And you'll see me really look down at this airspeed because it seemed like we were taking a long time. And she should be ready to fly. I want you to notice something as I take off here and I finally get this plane to rotate. It's like, come on, little Sammy, let's go. But man, watch at the end of this runway how it just drops off. I mean, it's actually kind of spooky. It just like disappears. Engine issue right now, ooh. And yeah, so look at how that drops out over there. <laughs> I mean, that's like spooky. This reminds me of like when you're in the shallow end of a pool and you look at the deep end and it seems like it just drops off to the, into the abyss. Yeah, something like that. Like you're immediately thousands of feet off, off the, off the deck there. Beautiful though, look at how pretty that is. It's one thing that really is such a treat when you fly to an airport that you've never been to. You get to see views that you've never seen and some of them are just absolutely spectacular. I mean, just amazing. I, flying is such a blessing. Schuylkill County, Cessna 904006, right crosswind turn, service. So I'm gonna do a right downwind departure and then make my last call. So this air, the airfield is out that way. Whew. And sometimes with this beauty comes little surprises, like a little air pocket. So you're always gonna have to be on your P's and Q's anytime you're flying over hills and mountains and through valleys and stuff. There'll be traffic, uh, that's uh, eight miles south east of the field. We have down runway two niner. Um, I'm hearing a derby. And Schuylkill County, Derby traffic, Cessna 904006, making a right downwind departure. Um, last call, Derby. I'm gonna stay on this frequency. So the airport is there, so I'm on the right. So I heard somebody call Derby, so I wanted to make sure they knew that my departure was on the right. 
Five checklist, mixtures full rich, throttle is full for now, carbine is off, gonna turn off our taxi landing lights, all the instruments are in the green, full temp, full pressure, all look good, and we're gonna be continuing to climb to 5.5. Five. So, see you later, Schuylkill County. That was a nice, nice runway. Nothing much out here, but man, that's, that just, that, that entrance into that runway was just beautiful. There'll be traffic at some, uh, uh, four miles southeast of the field. We'll be entering uh, left base two niner Derby. So they call it Derby. That's why I kept saying Schuylkill County and Derby, because that's what they call it. They call it Derby. And this issue came up before. I don't know if you remember when I was flying into Lincoln Park and I was trying to call another airfield, and I was calling what it was on the sectional, but they were actually calling it by the name of the area. Um, and so that's why, because of the fact that Schuylkill County had Joe Zerbys as a second name, that's why I mentioned both, just so that people would know exactly where I was. There's that traffic there. All right, so I'm making my way back to Doylestown. You'll get to see that beautiful runway again. Um, I'm kind of flying this way. Uh, there's the Derby. So that's the last call for Derby. Um, but yeah, so I'm kind of flying a little bit more south than east because there was this like cloud bank um, that I was worried about. There's some darker clouds. Uh, so I think once I get kind of over this mountain range, mountain, mountain range, um, there won't be as many clouds that I have to worry about. So I'll be able to climb up to my cruising altitude of 5,500. And um, yes, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna proceed on course here. That way, once I am ready to climb, I've only got another 500 feet I need to climb. Okay, I'm gonna shoot this, shoot this gap over here. And I think once I'm through there, I should be good with the clouds. So let's get Schuylkill stuff in there. Hey, Schuylkill. Let's get Doylestown stuff in there. I was just looking for traffic. And I haven't done my cruise checklist yet because I'm still trying to make sure that I'm in the right place in terms of these clouds. Just trying to figure that out. And then I got to get the comms in there. So CTAP 122975. Once I get over this ridge, I think what I'm going to do is cruise out at 35. Because I don't think these clouds out here are going to let me go any higher. So once I get over this gap here, so I'm shooting that gap. Alexandria traffic turning, uh, White Piper turning. So I'm shooting this gap here. Once I get over this gap, instead of trying to ascend to 5-5 because of these clouds right here, I'm just going to go down to 3-5. Fly a little lower. And then cruise out there. But I want to stay here until I get over that ridge. All right, so while I'm doing that, I'm checking for traffic and I don't see anybody. And I finally learned how to just multitask here. Like, you know, do a number, look, scan, do a number, look, scan. Okay, so I got 118 and now I need 875. So I'm not fixated on any one thing because that's when I lose altitude, I get off course, and I can hear my man Manish. You know what, I need to call Manish. I haven't talked to him in a while. But I can hear Manish in my head saying, Russ, Russ, what's up, Russ? All right, 875, am I there? Not yet. And I'm really scanning because I just don't like the altitude that I'm at because I'm not at the correct altitude for the direction that I'm flying. But I'm keeping this altitude because I want to be over this ridge. Now that I seem to be almost over it, I'll go ahead and descend a thousand feet, put our car heat on, drop some power, do a nice e descent down to three five, and I'll feel more comfortable. Reason why I need to descend is I want to be at three thousand five hundred feet because when you're going east, um, east is odd, so it's an odd number plus five hundred feet. And I was at even, I was at 4-1, 4-2, so I didn't like that, but 
I liked it in terms of what was going on with these uh, these ridges. And uh, that little gap, that was the Delaware water gap again. Yeah, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm sitting here just marveling at the fact that just two years ago, well, maybe it's three now. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, I remember I was contemplating doing this. And um, it's a true testament that you really want something bad enough, you just you just have to go for it and stick with it. And you know, it may not always seem clear how you're gonna get from A to B. There may be all these different roadblocks. For me, it was COVID and money. Because <laughs> no, it's not a cheap undertaking at all. But you know, barriers aside, I mean, I will say this is, I really believe the good Lord put this before me. And so if he puts something before you, even though you don't understand it, and you don't get why a certain assignment has been given to you, and you think to yourself, I don't have the background, I am not that person, why Lord are you giving me this assignment? Good Lord knows that you are that person. That's the bottom line that the assignment is being given to you because good Lord knows what he put into you. So there's really nothing that you can't do. So if there's something on your heart, I saw a couple brothers open up this, uh, this juice stand. And um, now how many of those are there already, right? Now you're gonna do a juice stand like what? Don't we have enough juice stands? No, we don't have their juice stands. Food cart. You know, any number of things. So, yeah, if something's been placed on your heart, make it happen. Make it happen. Period. And no, I'm no preacher. That has not been my call at all. I would imagine that people who do a call, preach the word, hear it clearly. I have not heard that, but I heard clearly to do this. Even though sometimes I marvel at the fact that, wow, really? Buy an airplane? E? Answer is yes, you. You, Russell. You, Russ can fly. You are assigned the task of flying an airplane. And by the way, I want you to start this goofy little YouTube channel, even though you don't know anything about video editing, you don't have the equipment, you don't you don't know what kind of computer to get, but you don't worry about any of that. Just be obedient and do what I say. <laughs> and uh, and I did. And it still trips me out. And you can see, I mean, I have a YouTube channel. I, I'm, I didn't always think about that. I mean, it's for those kids, YouTube and all that. Facebook and, well, I have Facebook, but all that other stuff, but definitely YouTube and editing, editing videos, and getting an Apple computer and getting programs, Final Cut Pro. It just kind of, it just, it just all came together. But it came together because I basically said, okay, that's to the call. I don't get it, but that's what you want me to do, so that's the call, that's what I'm going to do. And so I say all that to say that if there is something, you know what it is, you already know what it is. I, I don't I don't have to tell you, I'm not, and there's no spookiness here, I'm not a mind reader, you already know what it is. As you're sitting here listening to these words come through this boom mic, through these wires, into that camera, and now onto the YouTube video, you know exactly what is leaping in your spirit, in your heart, in your chest, in your soul that has been put in there and it keeps knocking. Come on, come on, come on. And what I'm here to tell you is heed the knock. Open the door. Open the window, walk through the door, crawl through the window. Put your toe in the crack. Put your fingers on that little thing and go. 
and go. And again, sometimes I wonder, you know, why am I doing this? And it's just that this, this whole thing would, could just be about you, whoever you are. This whole thing, these three years and all these videos and all this kind of stuff, it could just be because I am supposed to tell you this today on June, what is it, June 25th, Saturday at 2.45 p.m. That's what all this could be about because you could be the change that the world is waiting for. And I will say no more. I will leave it alone. I will just enjoy the rest of the rest of my flight. Stop feeling like I'm preaching. Because I ain't no preacher. What's going to be cool is I'm going to be going across the, um, across the field for a midfield downwind. So I'll finally get my aerial footage. Please keep working. Keep working. <laughs> so I can get this footage. And I believe that's Lake Naka mixing up there. Alright, so I am going to definitely be paying a lot of attention because there is a ton of traffic around. And the wind is definitely getting squirrely. And Doyle Sound traffic. Cessna 904006, about 10 miles northwest of the field, inbound, one way 23, Doyle Sound. All right, so here is my typical hunt. <laughs> typical hunt for Doyle Sound. That's not as bad when I have to do two, three though, because I could go over the field. Since I'm almost five out, let's do our pre-landing. So let me check my brakes. Brakes feel good, brake pressure feels good. Mixture's full rich, car heat is on. Fuel tank is on. Taxi landing light is coming on. And Doylestown traffic, Cessna 94006 is five miles northwest of the field at 2500 Doylestown. You may have noticed that I actually gave my altitude in that call. And the reason why I did is because I knew that there was a lot of people in the pattern at Doylestown or coming in from various directions. And so I wanted folks to not only know where I was coming in terms of direction, but I also wanted them to know in terms of where I was flying as it relates to altitude. Okay, thanks. Okay, so I think that's the field there. And I told you, I'd be able to see that blacktop. And those on traffic, that's the 904006, about three northwest of the field. Gonna be crossing over midfield for uh, left downward for one way, two, three, Doylestown. I'll be looking for that light sport. Yeah, 006, we're both about three miles out. I'm going to beat you to the downwind, so I'm going to get down to pattern altitude here real quick. All right, so I'll be behind you, uh, 006, and um, I'll uh, follow you, and I'll be number two for 23. Go sound. As with anything in life, good communication and good clear communication is key. And that was definitely the case here. Um, I heard that light sport kind of working his way towards the field on the opposite side. So good thing that we were able to confer and uh, get get the priority in terms of who was first and who was second. There's the new... Oh, there he is. Delta Kilo is base 2 three. And Doylestown traffic Cessna 904006 is crossing midfield for a uh, left downward from way 2-3. I've got the light sport in sight behind him. Number two, Doylestown. Yippee. Yeah. Bumpy enough for you, zero, zero, 006. Yes, sir. And Doylestown traffic, Cessna 904 006, turning left downwind for one way two three, Doylestown. All right, we're a beam. Fire to 1500, first notch of flaps, nose coming down. Watch the speed on this thing. Because. Little Sammy can get slow real quick. And if you look over my left shoulder there in the direction I'm looking, you can see the field out the window there. Just making sure I'm lined up properly. Make sure you stay coordinated. Ghost on traffic light sport, uh, Delta Kilo has cleared the active. And Doylestown traffic, Cessna 904006 turning left base for runway 23, Doylestown. Stay coordinated. All right, let's get our second notch of flaps in there. All right, cue the music. 
Look at that beautiful new runway. Can I make the first turn? Yes! <laughs> I made the first one! So this is the new part here. This wasn't an exit before. At Doors Town traffic, Cessna 94006, clear of runway 23, Doors Town. Thank you for flying with me, Russ Kid, Russ can fly. This has been amazing. Flying is just so amazing, and I just, I thank you for taking the time to fly with me and to uh, just enjoy this this with me. I really do. I appreciate every subscriber and every minute that you watch um, on these videos. It really does mean a lot to me. It does. Uh, so with that, Russ Kid, Russ Can Fly, new, new runway, all that good stuff. All right. Take care. Russ Can Fly. Peace.